So if you paid close attention on the recent video I posted about airbags being installed on my truck, you may have noticed I switched back to something. So I had quite a few people who either messaged me or posted comments saying that they noticed I am no longer using the Anderson Ultimate fifth wheel connection hitch in the bed of my truck and that they saw the BMW companion hitch while they were watching the video of me getting the airlift airbags installed on my truck. So it is true, I did switch back to the BMW companion hitch from the Anderson hitch, but probably not for the reasons most people would think. So one of the biggest controversies about the Anderson Ultimate fifth wheel connection is that it's made out of aluminum. And how can a 32 pound hitch support a fifth wheel safely and reliably? Well, those weren't my concerns at all. When you actually hold the fifth wheel hitch and you see how robust it is, you see how it's built, you really aren't gonna feel as if this thing's gonna fail. It is built very well. And I actually enjoyed using it while I had it. We took the RV out a couple times with it and it worked very well. You really couldn't feel any type of looseness or sloppiness in the connection. It did a phenomenal job of reducing any noise that you might normally hear with the kingpin moving around inside of the jaws on like the BMW companion hitch that I have. However, it took up a lot of room in the back of the truck. And that is really one of the main reasons why I switched back. And really it's the ultimate reason why I switched back is because it took up significantly more room than the BMW companion hitch did when you are already kind of limited with what room you have. So as most of you know, I carry a generator around. Sometimes I carry a toolbox and I carry some other parts with me. And I already didn't have a lot of room with the BMW companion hitch. So once I threw the Anderson Ultimate fifth wheel connection in the bed, it took up probably 75% of the bed space that I had, and I could no longer carry a lot of equipment with me. Even though the hitch weighs significantly less than the BMW companion hitch, the amount of space that it took up was definitely the biggest reason why I switched back. I love the fact that I could take it off and remove it in no time at all because it weighed hardly anything. I didn't feel as if I'd risk hurting my back lifting it out and setting it up was pretty straightforward and I really didn't think that it was any type of an effort or challenge at all to get it set up for towing. Now another reason why I went back to the BMW hitch is I wasn't really comfortable lifting the fifth wheel's nose as high as I had to get it to get it over the ball. And that wasn't a huge problem for me, but when you realize that you have to extend the kingpin another four inches or so to clear the ball, it makes you a little leery on if you're putting some additional wear and tear on the front landing gear of your fifth wheel. Now beyond that, the final issue I had with it, which again wasn't really a significant one, is that you have to be pretty much dead on when you're hitching your truck up. It does have a convenient inverted cup that surrounds the coupler, which gives you the ability to help guide it into place. But one of the problems that you still have is that it doesn't really slide it into place like you might see with your traditional fifth wheel hitch. You have to pretty much be dead on to drop it down. You can be slightly off, maybe an inch off, but if you're any more than that, you don't really feel comfortable putting all the weight on that inverted cup and watching it drop onto the coupler on the fifth wheel. So that's it guys. That's really the only main reasons why I switched back to my BMW hitch versus the Anderson hitch. And I still have the Anderson hitch. You know, I may give it another try in a while, but in terms of convenience and usability and space, I kind of prefer the BMW hitch, honestly. It takes up such a smaller footprint that if you need anything in the bed of your truck while you're towing, it really provides for that. And one of the main reasons is the BMW hitch plugs directly into my truck's puck system or the pre-installed fifth wheel gooseneck mounting system that came on my Ford truck. Whereas the Anderson hitch requires you to use your goose ball and it simply clamps to the top of your goose ball and applies pressure. Now one of the ways that Anderson is able to really allow for such a heavy pin weight as well as tow capacity is to spread the weight out over a much larger surface area. 
and by doing so it essentially transfers much of the load across the entire structure of the hitch and that's the main reason why the hitch base is so large it takes up a sizable area and it's about 120 percent larger in terms of surface area than the BMW companion hitch again if I had to say my main reason not based on any safety concern, not based on any reliability concern or build construction. It's all because I tend to put more stuff in the bed of my truck and I needed the space. And less importantly, it was the fact I had to raise my fifth wheel up about four inches higher. And then finally, the fact that the coupler has to be pretty much directly aligned in order for it to couple properly. Aside from that, the hitch is a phenomenal hitch. I highly recommend it. And if you're looking for a fifth wheel hitch or an alternative to your standard fifth wheel hitch, I would definitely include it on your list. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.